Let's say that you want to edit every single grass part inside of your game. So you go ahead and you individually click every single part. Now if you think about this, this would actually take forever. And that's why there's this handy dandy plugin called Part Picker which allows all of us to do that with a single click. So just head over to the Part Picker plugin, then click Pick Part, then select any part, and then we can filter by fields. And then we could run the filter and select every single green grass part inside of the game. And I'm going to show you everything about Part Picker, how you can install it, how you can uninstall it, and most importantly, how you can use it and the features inside of Part Picker. So let's first start with installation. To install, head over to the Part Picker webpage. It's going to look a little bit like this. And it's by this person, so all credit goes to them, XAXA. -A -A. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. And as you can see, it demos all of the Part Picker systems, and most importantly, it shows us the link to the Part Picker plugin. So if you don't know where to find this, there will be a link to this post down in the description below. Then I want you to head over to this link, and then I want you to click install. It's going to take some time, it's going to connect, wait for Roblox Studio, it's going to open up Roblox Studio automatically, and then it's going to tell us that Part Picker was successfully installed. Now I'm going to head into a game for example, let's pick, uh, can we do a base place? No, okay, we're going to use base plate and then we're going to use the free model city that I was using earlier. So I'm going to head over to toolbox and then it was called city I believe. We're going to go full screen and yes, I'm just going to use this free city map just to demonstrate this plugin. So as you can remember, our first example was with all the grass parts and having to replace them all. So let me just go up, yep. There the city is, okay, now, oh yeah, there's all the grass. So first of all, we need to select an example part so that part picker knows what we want to filter by. So let's say we want to get all the parts that have this shade of green, okay? And that would be super simple to do. We'd open up part picker, head to pick part, and then we'd select on any part, which is like remotely close to the part we're searching for. And if we zoom this up so it's a bit bigger, we can then we can then set the properties to filter by and we mentioned we want to get all the parts that have this in particular color so we'd click on the color and color would be highlighted and then we would click run filter then it would select all of the grass inside of our explorer and as you can see i'll be able to change the color so i could make it a different shade of green now another cool thing we can do is actually let's go to part pick and then once again, let's use color, and we have all the grass pieces here, but we can actually randomly deselect parts. Randomly unselect 0.81% parts that were selected, and as it says, 148 parts will remain. I click deselect, and as you can see, only a select few are randomly picked. And this can be super handy if you want to mix colors. So here we go, I'm going to just mix two shades, and as you can see, now we have two random colors in the map, which is pretty cool. Now, there are more filters we can actually separate by. So let's say we wanted to change every window here. But let's say this window was a different color and all the windows were random colors. So we could go to pick, we could click pick part, then we could click on one of our windows. And then what we could do, instead of searching by color, we could unselect color and we could click size. And then if we click run filter, you could see that all of the window parts would be selected because they all have the same size and then maybe we would be able to change this. And this is super handy also, because let's say not everything's the same color, right? You wanna be able to filter it. And not only is it just the color we can separate by, we can also separate by the material. So let's click on this metal bit, and let's say we want all the parts to have this color and to be the metal, well, they're not metal, they're actually diamond plate, but the diamond plate material. And then we can click run filter, and it can actually search by color and by material. And as you can see, it finds all the chimneys here. And then let's say we wanted to exclusively search by, for example, material. So instead of using color, we could search explicitly just for diamond plate. And it would not only just find these chimneys, it would also find these diamond plate grills, this diamond plate water tower. It would find everything with the diamond plate material. And even if you want to get more specific than that, let's head over to a stop sign. Okay, and then let's click pick part, then stop sign. And then let's make it have the material, the orientation, and the size, and we can run the filter, and we can find all the stop signs that are in this orientation, which is facing uh, in the direction I'm looking. And that's also super handy, because it doesn't mean that we will find other parts that could be mixed up, 
and we can get really specific here. So if I just click on this roof, you can also search by names. So for example, if you have multiple parts with the same name, you could also consider that. Also, what happens if you wanted to search for everything that was anchored or maybe not anchored? So let's say we have this part here. And as you can see, it's not anchored. So we're going to click on oh, cancel here, pick part, and then this. And then let's say we were to search all that is anchored false. And we'd only find that part. But it would help, for example, if we had parts that weren't anchored and we wanted to explicitly anchor them. Or maybe do the opposite. Now, this plugin is super handy. However, sometimes you don't want to keep all your plugins. So this is how you can uninstall the So this is how you can uninstall the part picker plugin. Simply head over to plugins, then to manage plugins, and then let's make this a tiny bit bigger. Let's look for part picker. Where is it? It might be in alphabetical order. Here it is. And then we're going to click on the three dots and then uninstall. So I hope you found this tutorial interesting. If you have any questions about scripting support or anything like that, just head over to our forms, which is forms.thecookie.dev. Have a fantastic evening. That's all from me. Thank you for tuning in, and bye-bye.